building and level the city block because <laughs> Project M is just that awesome. Exactly. That's why. So I'm sorry, guys. But we all want to live, so no Project M. Looks like we're headed to Lilac Cruise. Lilac Cruise. Cruise. The first game. And they're getting right into it. No button checks from these guys, which is... You know, I'm honestly surprised Scat doesn't do more button checks, considering, like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's no what he's saying. <laughs> and what? Scat already taking an early lead with Lemons Pat with Lemons. Lemons. Trying to go ahead and... um. I got really scared because I thought he was going to get hit with the, um, sure. the P Actually, what's Lucas' verbs called? Is that called PK Rocket, too? I think so. Lucas is um, PK Thunder. When he hits himself with it. Oh, Vanessa's is PK, PK Rocket. Um, I'm just going to... That seems about right. Yeah, this guy just building up so much damage to the lemons, like you said. You He's got about a good... 75% just off of Lemons alone. There's more of them. Xanos off. <laughs> Cody Sky. Oh, the Metal Blade. So smart, but he gets back. Looks like a pretty good recovery. Yes. He actually. I saw the pop off. Yeah, he beat him at. Um, <laughs> Kennesaw Smash. He beat him at a Kennesaw Smash. He took he shook he shook his hand and tried to take his soul. <laughs> to pull his hand off. <laughs> so you won't be that needing that for nunchucks. Is that last time they played or uh I'm not sure. It was, it was a little bit ago. That's actually really smart from Scott to use his crouching to sort of get the micro spacing so that he would avoid things. Mm -hmm. But he's still able to like react to everything. And that uh, Ethro is gonna go ahead and take it. With 160 rage Every for character sure. is scary with rage. <laughs> So he's trying to do a so good job of living. Just hang in there. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> good read on the jump off the ledge. Just punched him into the Starfleet. While we're on top of the Starfleet, I just have to take a moment to say, the background on Lila looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's really, it really does. So well detailed. Someone took the time to do that, to all the design. It's amazing. <laughs> Which is funny, because it's like, nobody's looking at this, though. No. <laughs> Well, I guess technically I'm looking at it. Oh, right. It's the little things that count. Yes, the little so things. All the small things. things. All this microspacing uh, going on from both these players. No, this is not Grand Finals. I believe this is Winner's Quarters. I should say Winner's Quarters match, I believe. Oh, that's really good there. That's one thing I would say Cody Strive is really good at doing, is using like the wave bounce. Yeah, to wave space bounce out. The extra spacing on the PK fire. Absolutely. That way, even if he doesn't hit it, he's not like getting it super punished. Yeah. That was really good spacing on that forwarder. Like, he hit with the absolute tip of that at the very edge of his shield. Nice wave bounce on the um, PK fire once again. Another like I said, he's bounce. really good at doing that. This guy just building up so much damage with these elements. Well, absolutely, and Cody also looks at 169%, so... It's definitely either person game. Absolutely. Nice fair. Yeah, look Ooh. at him. I mean, it's tied. It is all tied up. He built up 30-40% within seconds. That was actually a pretty good decision on Cody's part, going off with the um, back air, because if he... If he got punished for it, the um, crash bomber would have shifted on the scat, which it did. And that's oh, going to take it. Oh, and that'll it. take it. That's the confirm right. off the down throw. As soon as I thought it down, I was like, oh, that's it. Confirm it's a 50-50, right? Right. Well, it, it depends on the scene. Oh, really? Okay. At early percent of the All righty, now, um, let's see. Where do you think scat's going to take him? I'll be back, guys. I'm assuming somewhere, like, with a lower ceiling. Up to kill early, earlier, up, up airs to take him off the top. Maybe Town and City. Hmm. I personally don't think he would take him to Town and City. Something because Lucas has so many ways to kill off the top as well. Because, like, as you throw. saw, he just lost the game from down throw up air. Right. Hmm. I would personally see him try to, like, if he were. Duck hunt. Interesting. That works, too. Yeah, I was just about to talk about, like, him need, like, probably going somewhere with, like, open space. Right. Duck hunt definitely fits the bill. Perfect, yeah. You have more space to run, kind of. And then on the, in addition to that, if I were, 
I'm from my understanding, a lot of um scat projectiles won't be inter like get interrupted by the ducks. Mm -hmm. Whereas Cody, if he tries to use like PK fire, it'll get like hit, it'll hit the ducks. Exactly. Exactly. Whereas scat like. Like lemons would get stopped by the ducks, but he can shoot some. He can shoot so many lemons; it just it doesn't even matter. Yeah, it's got to be making good use of all the open space on Duck Hunt, just taking his time, running around, metal blades, lemons, all the good stuff. Although it's looking a, a lot like last game, he's got getting an early lead and pushing it very, very hard. But both stocks last game, Xandos was able to just. Wait it out and then get like a couple good decisions. And he was able to take the stock. And Lucas can really build percent really quick with his uh with his combos and things like that. So oh, oh that was nice. That was beautiful. Getting him with the glide toss into the back, into the back air. air. Last time I saw that was when Scat fought the buzz. <laughs> we all know how that ended. Ended hype. <laughs> Scat doing a really good job oh. of pressuring him. Absolutely. Keep him right there on the oh, oh, trying to go for the ledge trump there, but Cody Stride gonna buffer a gap attack to avoid it. Gant looks like he's having a bit of a hard time finding the kill. Which is about how it looked last game. Cody Stride looked to about about 170 last time. Yep. Uh, and and back here, gonna go ahead and take the first stock. Only taking 64% on that first stock, so it's looking good for Scat right now. But as we saw last game, it's really easy to build up damage, so... Now Scat, now that he's got the lead, he can play a little bit a little bit differently. He can start spacing Cody out a lot more, keep him away, start playing the keep away games. And we're starting to see that. He's starting to back up a little bit and throw stuff <laughs> at Cody's three a lot better. A lot more. Oh. <laughs> Using the forward smash to knock away the leaf shield. Just smart. It's like batter up, bro. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, he's living though. That's crazy. That was beautiful. Even with the dog assist. That's amazing. Oh, that's actually a t terrifying situation to be in. If he like, if he had waited just a, maybe a frame later, he probably definitely would have got the stock there. Nice F tilt there, you can send this get all the way across the stage. If he can get, if Cody can get the grab once again, he's probably going to take the stock, but even then, this guy's get, gotten almost 60% of 75%. extra credit. What's up? Zach, what's up? And oh, that's going to go ahead and take it. Something that uh, Scout was doing a great job of last stock was just keeping stage control, control keeping Cody on the edges, and uh, just building up that percent. And uh, if he can just keep playing that keep away game, there's not much that Cody can do. Cody will be forced to, you know, make some, he's going to have to make some adjustments. Although, considering how the last game went, it's definitely possible. Absolutely, and we saw that. It's definitely still doable for Cody, absolutely. Oh. And oh, oh, very close trying to right go there. The back air to back air. Okay, calm down, Cody. I know you. I know you want the spike, but. Uh, <laughs> oh and oh, oh lives it. What's with the, with all this really good di? Absolutely, and got. The, oh, that was nice. Canceling the um double jump with the Zare. And the back air, getting him off stage. Yeah, Big Man's back is not as bad. As well, he was in the middle of the stage. Cody had some good DI, so. Cody's in a very tough spot right here. He's gonna have to play very, very carefully in order to take this. Ooh. That was a nice glide toss from Scat there. But he went a little bit too far. If Cody didn't shield that, he definitely would have gotten the confirm. Oh, and I'm gonna take it. Might be a good idea to actually try to those. The for sure. Nice patience from Cody, not gonna go ahead and rush. And that's oh, not still gonna living. take it. Only At 186. At this point, it's very, very much possible for Scat to try and go for the timeout. But considering how 
at what high a percent that Cody is, I would be trying might, to get the kill. For sure, might as well just go for the kill. 202% now on Cody's try. Still not quite. Oh, and that'll and go Four arrows. Four arrows. Go ahead and on. kill it. I mean, at 200%, pretty much anything would I would sure hope so. <laughs> you know what I want to see one of these days? I want to see somebody kill just by hitting them with Leaf Shield. <laughs> with Leaf Shield. Every time I'm like practicing with Peach, uh, practicing my friend cancels, I like to so, throw him away. Santa's gonna go ahead and take him to Final Destination. For a little bit of history, this is actually the stage where Xanos took him the last time that he was able to take a set off of him. So, I can definitely see the logic behind wanting to take him here. But, at the same time, I can see it sort of backfiring because now. Scat has a lot of room to work with. He can really move around. And he can control that space with the lemons, control the space with the metal blade. Because there's no platforms to run away on. But it does become a lot harder for um, both characters to land. Absolutely. An unfortunate mis I a misdirectional input from Cody Stry there. Missing that grab. Oh, using Cody the metal blade, the metal blade. blade. <laughs> against him. Oh, nice oh, pivot grab. Not, oh. And Cody Stry building up. Cody Stry's got momentum now. He's starting to really get in. Building up damage pretty quick. Oh. Let's go. Oh, oh, gets oh, caught oh, by the middle blade and the suicide <laughs> down air from Scat. Was it worth it? Yes, it was. <laughs> the crowd is happy. <laughs> yeah, that's what matters. <laughs> they were just like, so, are you going to strike first or what? <laughs> Cody Deuce doing a really good job using that forward smash, knocking away Scat's projectiles, especially the metal blade. Another thing he's doing really well is spacing with Zare. Oh, see? Actually, like, he's done that like pretty consistently now. This is very, very, looking very, very good right now for both players. The players playing really good spacing. <laughs> Oh, it was disgusting. Wait, is it one? No. He fucking zeroed to death. Who did? Who did? Is the hero still zeroed to death? Scat's doing a really good job. Starting to build that percent back up. And he adds his... Cody's at zero percent. Ooh. It seems like just a minute ago. Cody going for another back air to back air. He really wants that spike. And the fair is going to push Scat off stage. Trying to catch him with the PK fire as he's getting off the ledge, but not able to get it. Really good job using the wave bounces. Just like you said, that micro spacing. Moving Ooh. in and out of his. Out good of his roll zones. from Scat there. Oh, is this going to be oh, it? Not, not quite. Not quite. Mega Man heavy. Mega Man is definitely heavy. Oh. oh. And that's oh, not going to wow. be it either. Scat living to Scat crazy with the sense. crazy DI. Although I will admit, Mega Man is heavy. Made out of that good metal. <laughs> Titanium. Oh, clipping him with the metal. He just slowly ran across the stage and grabbed this man. <laughs> like we've seen. Oh, nice. Avoiding the grab with the jump there. And then running him with the forward air. Oh, glide toss in the back air again. Not but quite. Once again, beautiful DI a, from both players. We've seen oh. that a bunch of times from Scat. Just the glide toss right in the back air that confirms off the metal And player. is that going to take it? No. Not from the middle of FT. Not They're both play. at kill percent. This is, this is either player's fun. game. This is way too is indeed everyone's boy. <laughs> oh, but, oh, and, and the, the up tilt. Take it. Take Great it. job by so Cody Stry. I'm kind of disappointed there was no pop off. <laughs> Cody Stry is just like, yeah, oh, I, I got that. That was really good. Good stuff. Three amazing game games by both players. Great spacing from both players.